testing, testing.
What is up, everyone? I am Argwas here today casting solo. The match between D-E-S-K, duty, and wannabes. And here we are getting people uh, set up over here. This is a match that I've been looking forward to uh, having happen for a little bit. I just thought I wouldn't be casting it, but here we are now. Desk Duty is a group of players that I've been watching for the last few seasons. Uh, they've had some uh, opportunities to change up their roster a little bit and progressively have been getting better and better since they joined their league. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rosters of what we have going on tonight. We have Eric Herboso's team on Desk Duty, the uh, E in D-E-S-K, with the original team here being DJ Shazad representing D, Eric Arbosa representing E, Stormy representing S, and Catherine representing K. Joined by Fire and Ice Angel, Texas Archangel, to get the whole bunch of angelic influence going on here, and Captain Falcon, another airborne creature. The Desk Duty has taken flight over the last couple of years, slowly gaining more people as they have gone on to having their full archive up here. On the right side, though, we have the Wanna-Bs, not to be confused with the Wannabes, whose symbol I'm using blatantly anyway because Wannabes doesn't have a team logo yet. But these new, this new round of Wannabes, replacing the previous Wannabes, are filled up with Sukadin, Hefe, and uh, Cash Now, Hefe1, Roy, Nick, Buffalo, Pinball, and the well-established member of the community and coach for the team, Free Microwave. Uh, so... What, what do these two teams bring to the table here? Um, I've had the opportunity to play with Hefe and Hefe1 uh, on my West team, which is the First Hives Club. Uh, they're new players. Uh, what I will say about Hefe and Hefe1 is that they are two sides of the same coin. Pretty much everything that Hefe1 doesn't do, Hefe1 does, and vice versa. Uh, it's a couple uh, living out in the uh, Chicago time zone. Uh, together uh, together as much as possible, but they do tend to travel quite a bit. And they're here today uh, showing off Hefe 1 as their queening skills. Uh, Hefe is, our pri is the primary mill uh, of the two combination pieces there. Uh, from what I'm seeing for what the rest of the team brings to the table, we don't quite know yet. Cash Now has been starting off as an objective player, but has taken on the flex role pretty significantly on the wannabes side. I'm not sure what else we have bringing to the table for here. Free Microwave is gonna be their most frustrating warrior to go and deal with, but has also been a uh, a thorn in the side of people trying to be able to you know, get berries around people, uh, creating big snail baits. Like, Free Microwave is going to be uh, their coach and best player on their team. On the desk duty side, um, we've seen a variety of things coming from the various players here. Fire and Ice Angel has been a, uh, a consistently getting better queen uh, over the course of the game's lifespan. Uh, and we're looking to see what she brings to the table today. Um, typically speaking, we have spacing's been a bit of an issue in the, in the past, um, uh, but Fire and Ice Angel has been clearly been working on it and getting better and better over time. Catherine has been their primary uh, snail runner, uh, Captain Falcon, a primary mill. So I'm looking forward to seeing who they're going to bring in over here. DJ Chazad has been their uh, primary queen for a long time, uh, but might be taking us uh, taking a step back to be able to let Fire and Ice Angel show her stuff. Uh, I, I'm guessing that Captain Falcon is going to be their their uh, their player here who brings up the uh, who brings up the last slot. Their best flex player from what I've seen so far. Uh, Eric Herboso is close to being able to do that as well. Uh, D, uh, Eric has been there, uh, ad the advocate for the BGL, and has been a pretty reasonable coach for the team overall to say, you know, how can we get better and trying to be able to find information and ways to be able to get their, them to be able to improve as, you know, uh, as, they, as he gains that knowledge. And we see them going and preserving the... Uh, the custom here as they manage to get their people in. Uh, let's go ahead and have a, a quick moment here to talk about what this is all about. This is Killer Queen Black. This is a 4v4 team game in which your team tries to accomplish one of three objectives before your opponents do, does. Uh, if you kill the opposing queen three times, it's a military victory. 
If you can fill your hive with berries, 12 slots and all, it's an economic victory. If you move the snail all the way to the goalpost on your side, that is a snail victory. Games are organized through kqbdiscord.com and bg, uh, bgame.gg. Bgame.gg is the official league that we're uh, ho I'm hosting for right now. It's got a little symbol on the bottom right there. And KQB Discord is the generalized Discord for any and all games played for Killer Queen. So uh, what I have for you tonight is a show for that. Um, I will say that uh, one qualifying thing about the Death Duty team is that they are Switch players, uh, as evidenced by the close-ups of all of their faces. We have Stormy coming in here. We are probably going to be seeing some split pressure with uh, Fire and Ice Angel, Catherine, Captain Falcon, and Stormy to start off. On the wannabes side, I am fully expecting to see a uh, military control strategy to be able to go and try to hold these uh, these two teams down. So we, I see a good luck, have fun coming uh, from Eric Carboso in the chat. And uh, Jim, J with, uh, J with Y, uh, coming at us today as well, supporting from the First Hives Club. Thank you all for showing up today and uh, making this game happen. All right. Uh, we're looking for cash now to be able to get locked in. And I think we're going to about get ready to get started here. Uh, so... Unfortunately, I don't have the stats quite yet for each individual player, but I will say that Hefe 1's queen has uh, has improved here. It's good to be able to see the, the two sides of the same coin I was talking about earlier, being able to take the stage together, um, as this team is capable of being able to do. Uh, they've been playing a lot as well. Like Both of these teams have players who are pretty active in the community. Um, Catherine, uh, Fire and Ice Angel, uh, and Captain Falcon have all been people you can find uh, on the traditional Discord. Hefe and Hefe1 have been showing up quite a bit in the BGL Discord and working with their first Hives Club at the very least. Um, we will see what the uh, what these two teams bring to the table. Uh, this is going to be a great game, and I'm going to be happy with the results one way or another. But I do think that these teams are going to be relatively well-balanced, but I'm going to give the uh, initial, uh, just basically just the amount of uh, cohesion and time that's been developed for these teams. I think I'm going to give this a desk duty having a slight lead between these two teams to begin with. Uh, but the split pressure, we'll see if the split pressure will be able to get up there. Strategically, I am thinking that wannabes, like for the people that they bring to the table, I think they're going to be able to have a good time trying to be able to push these guys around. And we got some dancing going on coming from desk duty. Uh, we have hearts flying out from Hefe. Good to see the enthusiasm from the teams. Uh, let's see, let's take a look at the skin selection here. Uh, I have to give uh, Captain Falcon here uh, the best skin award. Uh, Catherine and Stormy kind of taking up the rear. The other, otherwise we have, oh, oh, Cash Now coming up with there. And it looks like we're gonna have a near match of, uh, of what we have going on, but are we gonna get a double dance what, over here? What's what's the best skin award? Uh, the best skin award for the uh, the team that has the, uh, that is leading their team for the best uh, choices amongst their skins. Uh, what I'll say over here is that it's now quickly gone to cash down free microwave going and uh, uh, <laughs> both trying to take that uh, that that sweater on at the same time. Also, hello, Timos. Welcome to the cast. Hey, you got a spectate code? I do have a spectate code for you. Let me go ahead and get that to you right now. I'm throwing it in our casting discord. Yay. There you are. And it is on. We have Black Queens keep starting us off here, uh, followed up with uh, Nesting Flats and Spire. So I'm expecting this to be a pretty mill-heavy opening here, which I think is probably going to favor the wannabes to get started. All right. Both teams pop out. Everyone's in. And... Let's see the opens. Fire and Ice Angel makes an opening aggressive move, and Hefe 1 spaces out, gets that kill immediately. Gold team is up very quickly. Hey, I was in quick play with uh, Fire and Ice Angel earlier. Oh, nice. Super, super fun player to play with. Absolutely. Get that. It's a, it's a great up and coming queen, as I was talking about a little bit earlier in the cast. Um, microwave moving around Captain Falcon. Oh. Gets lots of clashes over there. I'm I'm disappointed in microwave. Mr. Mr. Gun went went mace. Uh yeah, I'm thinking that uh, right now they're trying to be able to do like a meat uh, grinder oh, move Hefe. and Hefe getting a kill off of Fire and Ice Angel putting her on last. 
Cash now, getting the clear up on the snail. Military's up for uh, gold team two against one for the blue team. When you say that name, you gotta sing it. <laughs> 877 Cash now! 877 Cash now! All right. Have you ever seen the commercial? I, uh, I have not actually seen a Cash Now commercial. Oh my gosh. Well, I have seen the, yeah. I've seen a bunch of like lawyer area, uh, things that's like call you, 1 8 8 8 8 8 No. Not eight, that seven, one for Cash Now? Cash Now. 8 7 7 Cash Now. All right, we have nesting flats coming up here. Uh,. We have an opening here from Hefe, stopping Catherine from being able to get up while getting Hefe up on the upgrade. Watching Captain Falcon now gets that upgrade over there. Cash now and free microwave, moving that snail on the right. Ooh, fire. Gonna get rid of that mace, but didn't work too well. Captain Falcon squaring up with microwave. Microwave to keep in the upper column, dropping down and killing off the sword and board. Cash now with the great moves on the snail. Catherine getting the kill up on the top. Hefe one spacing very carefully, deciding not to go and dive on it. Microwave with the berry stun. Yeah, but nothing really got to capitalize from it though. But we have Captain Falcon up on the full Voltron, the sword, the shield, and the speed all up at once. Stormy bringing it back. Here we go, yeah. Captain up on Mace, Falcon up on uh, Voltron. Maybe get a little help this time. That snail is really secure from the military here. Hefe one trying to find a way in, getting those jumps and attacks, but not quite getting it in there. Fire Nice Angel, uh, getting ready to do that drop on there. Gets the timing a little bit wrong, so we didn't get any kills on either side. Military's all up in that bottom, though. Gold team. Ooh, Ooh microwave, microwave getting the kill. Yeah, Cash now moving up on the right. And oh, Hefe won with the queen kill at the top. Captain Falcon getting up uh, from a Fire Nice Angel due to the drop from below. Oh, no, I see it too, bees. Ooh. You got a little PowerPoint going on. That, uh, that clash that clashing going on over there allowed Cash now to be able to stay on that snail and keep it moving. Angel needs to do the drop now, gets it, but Hefe, seeing where she needs to be at the right time, gets the kill. Captain Falcon trying to be able to alleviate the pressure, not happening. As uh, Gold Team's bringing it, bringing it home. Might see a family portrait. Nope, Cash now just delivers it. Let's Eight, check it. Seven, seven, Cash now. You're powerpointing a little bit, Argos. Okay, let's see what we can do about that really soon. That's uh, my face there. I did I did notice that you tried to uh, shoot up to 720p. I did, um, as opposed to the 540. That is what we got here. Uh, but, you know, there's going to be some hiccups here and there, I think. Hey, it's all right. 877 Clash now. <laughs> I still can't believe you haven't seen those commercials. I, I don't know. I think it plays out in certain areas more than others. I really haven't seen it in the West or East Coast. Uh, Cash Now, speaking of which... all the time. Trying to get up on the uh, middle section here. Uh, Cash Now with a gun. And the looks microwave like with the... Looks like we're flowing a little bit better now. Hefe 1 doing the, uh, the control on the bottom gates here as Blue Team brings Catherine in to try to fight against Hefe. Not... Being able to handle it here, F uh, Fire and Ice Angel managed to tag the middle gate, but isn't able to secure it because of Free Microwave. Free Microwave gets a double oh, kill. Microwave. With the mace. Hefe, and getting... he still didn't go gun. <laughs> no, that, uh, I think Microwave's trying oh, to... Uh... But that mace is working. I think it's a hat trick. It is a hat yeah. trick. Woohoo! Microwave, mace, hattie. And let's see, we got the instant... five for microwave. There it is, right there. Fifteen for Hefe one. Oh, you're that, power pointing again. That that fifteen O is particularly impressive, um, especially seeing what uh, Hefe Hefe one's been putting in a bunch of work to be able to uh, get that queen uh, to be mastered a bit more. Uh, and Fire and Ice Angel got zoned out quite a bit by the military. I think the, the story of this game was that uh, microwave and Hefe together were kind of an unkillable combo with uh, with their maces. Um, Cash now going and uh, uh, bring up the bring up the rear here with the snail miles. Um, I didn't like so, Catherine with ten kills up there. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, Catherine yeah, was the military sure. strength for the, for their team. Uh, I expected Captain Falcon to be doing a bit more of that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the stats there. How often was Captain Fa Captain Falcon was up uh, uh, 41% of the time just behind Catherine. And Stormy was just straight snail objective pressure. No be no berries for any of the maps. Uh, but yeah, both these teams really seem to want to go after the snail and uh, just fight it out. 67% gate control for the uh, for the gold team, I think, is uh, the main reason that that uh, wannabes were able to uh, win uh, up the 3-0 sets here. All right. Let's see. The 72... I just realized uh, Micro had a 72% uptime. He uh, didn't really die too often. It was a 19 and 5, so... Um, yeah, that, that, that uptime really shows with what we have going on here. All right. All right, if we were to uh, try to handle the power pointing, I would have to go and uh, leave the uh, match and try to just uh, turn down the bit rate. Uh, but I think we're, not, we're gonna try to see if it's gonna improve here um, as, the, as the match progresses. If we still have uh, problems going into set two, uh, we will uh, go ahead and make a quick change out. All right, we're going with the same squads. Or was Stormy in last time? A uh, Stormy was in last time. Yes, Stormy was the okay. uh, snail rider. That's right. That's right. Stormy in last time. So. Getting a little pep Storm talk going for their uh, for Death Duty squad. Seeing what they could come up with. And we lost to Stormy. Uh, Argus, while they're doing that, you might want to lower the bitrate. Uh, bitrate can't be lowered on a live stream. Uh, however, oh. there's a bit, uh, the BZ is offering up some bitrate uh, voice channels for uh, casting. I think I think we're fine though, right from the uh, from this casting booth, in terms of uh, bitrate. Oh yeah, we're we're fine that, but you're powerpointing. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we will try to see if we can uh, fix this now, since the team looks like they need a little bit of time to be able to swap in Eric Herboso anyway. Um. So be right back. Uh, with a with a, a slightly lower bit rate to see if we can fix this a bit better. Uh, join us again in about thirty seconds. Um. And we're back. Let's do it. Looks like they're ready up. Uh, we just need to. There it is. Get they're it going. going in. Here we go. We got it. All right. Looks like we've got. Uh, we looks like the we got a little bit better here with the uh, bit uh, with the uh, upload rate changed here yeah. a bit. Hopefully, hopefully that helped and we get a nice smooth video. Mm -hmm. We got uh, Mr. Eric Herboso coming in for Stormy. <clears throat> and uh, it was yeah. luck saying that Catherine right. and Eric are pretty uh, traditionally a very scary combo. So um... if I'm not mistaken, judging by the name Eric Herboso is coming in with, uh, he might be on a Stadia right now. That's true. I wonder if he swapped things up. He has done reports, uh, like uh, as part of his blog, uh, for his Stadia play. So I don't know. I thought he, I think he was originally a Switch player. So maybe he just prefers Stadia. <laughs> Jay uh, with Y saying in the chat. Clearly, you're just looking for more advertising dollars. Eight yes. seven seven cast now. All right, good stuff here. We have an opening from. Um, uh, middle gate being taken by Fire and Ice Angel. Uh, Jefe, uh, though, taking her out on the right gate as we, they try to get up their last military. Free Microwave going and taking a clear, putting Gold up as the uh, dominant mill force right now. Two to one, and Hefe with the double, uh, the triple kill. Oh, oh microwave, microwave with the sword. We got Ice Angel on last. Oh, Ice oh. Angel clashing and microwave then getting killed by... By Hefe. Just want to take a look at the replay on that one really quick. Just from that excellent play from the clash coming in from the right side. I think that was uh, that was Hefe one into microwave getting the attack on the top. Excellent play there. 
getting up on the pod, another military opportunity. Once again, these maps seem to be pretty heavily in favor of the wannabe style that they have going on. Hey, if you guys all subscribe, get us some money. We can buy Argo with some better internets. <laughs> uh, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, Beesneys, yes, uh, that is the Wannabes logo from last season. It's a different team, but the Wanna-Bees don't have a logo yet, so I've kind of borrowed it and I'm encouraging the Wannabes for this round to be able to come up with their own. Uh, Hefe won with the clear on uh, on Captain Falcon. Eric Carboso going and holding that gate down. Blew up with uh, five berries. We're trying to be able to get their objective support up. Catherine taking speed, oh. investing greedy. Carboso taking out that speedy microwave. And Catherine with the speed sword. There we go. Fighting. Mm. Oh. Cash now, getting nice the kill. Angel down one. Oh, and oh, spawn I kill from Cash now. 877 mace now. <laughs> 877 kill now. Hefe one, uh, holding that right gate. For a moment, they're, they're triple mills. They're going for uh, Fire and Ice Angel's last life. And Fire and Ice Angel's oh. holding around Cal uh, Captain Falcon here, finding the weed. She's trying to get a game for her team, but oh, oh 877 mace now. Like, the, the play right up until now was really good from uh, Fire Nation. You can see her diving in between the uh, the rock and the hard place, coming around, thinking she's going to have the spacing, but not quite there before the mace comes oh, down in her oh, head. Oh, Jay Withy, you know, if, if you, you see 877 cash now, you got to sing it, right? 877 like capped now! <laughs> you got to sing it like the commercials. The ridiculous commercial sick it's stuck in your head. The uh, the workers have all spread out. Uh, Fire Nice Angel oh, trying to take the gates. The they got the yeah. Um, at the same time, Hefe one stopping from oh, get. Oh, there, there. there it is. Opening kill from microwave with a gun. You see, oh, I'm not oh, the only one. Jay with Y doesn't know it either. Oh yeah, getting the kills, but the doubles oh. up. Hefe with a clear on the right side, getting up the gold yeah, and heavy advantage get on there. YouTube and, uh, and and look it up real quick, and you'll know what I'm singing. Uh, Hefe one trying to get Eric Carbosa didn't quite get it. Good clash and the kill. Oh! Fire and Ice Angel. Getting Don't let pink. Microwave have a gun. He's gonna pew 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 all over. That sh that shot right there is uh, Cash now is uh, was holding the right side to make it so that Warriors could not get any, any attacks on uh, Fire uh, on on the uh, on Microwave at the time. So that meant that yeah, with that yeah. guard. Uh, Free Michael was just free to just go and get the shot along the top bow. Yeah, stronger showing. Hefe 19 and 1, Microwave 7 and 2, Hefe 4 and 1, Cash now 4 and 2. That's inc incredible. Incredibly strong military. Uh, and also look at that. The minimum uptime of their entire team was 55%. Uh, yeah. wow. Uh, only They're able to hold those uh, spots and keep uh, Ice Angel from getting those gates. Micro's got a gun. And uses it effectively, too. Uh, especially in that last map over here. I'm just going to take a look at this really quick. Two queen kills only. Uh, sniper, 81% uptime. So got that gun and immediately held it. 83% uptime for the gates overall. Everyone just went mill. And I don't think anyone... Yeah, we had one death the entire uh, match in those Hefe. So the Warriors didn't go down at all in that last map. Okay, so the, uh, the, H, the 877 Cash Now commercials are for JG Wentworth. Hmm. Which is the story behind that is that 877 Cash Now and JG Wentworth were a pair that played the game together. But JG Wentworth has not been playing the game as much recently, but 877 Cash Now has been sticking around and just kept the name. All right. Looking forward to seeing uh, what the uh, what desk duty brings to the table in the next round. I called them as being uh, having advantages from having experience with each other. But uh, I think that the uh, part of the problem here is that uh, if Blue's Warriors lose the military engagements, it puts a lot of pressure on uh, on Fire and Ice to try to find a way to get in that gate, and it just hasn't been That's working what I'm talking out about, so far. Bees. She knows what I'm talking about. I, I, I don't doubt that it is, a, it is a classic. Oh, man, uh, Jay with Y is loving it. Probably just watched the commercial for the first time now. Well, I just played it through my mic, too. <laughs> oh, you did. Got it. <laughs> All 
right, what we got? Mr. Bob, Bob Doblina. Doblina. I think if we uh, if we look at the rosters from the team, Mr. Bob Dob uh, Bob Dobelina is probably Bob 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 Dobelina. <laughs> yeah, probably Nick Buffalo Pinball based on the things here. Uh, it's probably not Roy, so it might be a Sukadin actually. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, but yeah, uh, Beasley is saying I legit picked it for my daughter for a commercial analysis assignment. So. Uh, <laughs> It's probably very effective there. I have a structured settlement, but I need cash now. <laughs> Can I call to help with that? 877 eight, cash, seven, seven, cash now. <laughs> J JP Wentworth. Uh, call him up for uh, cash now. I uh, Free J advertising. JP Wentworth. 877 seven, cash now. 877 <laughs> cash now. Uh, uh, Buffalo, I hope, that, uh, I hope that helps you with your immediate need for a structured settlement. All right, here we are. We're uh, the teams are ready to go. Uh, the uh, Death Duty is ready with this particular team, and Bob Dob 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 Dobina over here. Uh, see if they can go ahead and <laughs> change things up a bit. Maybe they'll try to push Dobelina. the objective here. Dobelina, Mr. Bob Dobelina. We're just gonna call him Bob. Uh, Bob is a bot. Uh, Mr. Bob Dobelina is probably an enhancement on that original bot. Uh, once again, looking at the skins analysis. Uh, very close overall, but I think I'm giving it to uh, to wannabes here for their cohesion. And we have nesting flats once again. The military maps are bringing their stuff, and we finally have an objective map for uh, for what they're going to be able to bring next time for split. But it's more mill after that, so uh, we'll see what the uh, what the Death Duty team can do. Here we go. What can Fire Nice Angel do to bring her team back? All right, making the shift on the bottom here gets the oh, clash immediately. Almost an opening kill. Eric Herboso coming up on Mill immediately. Free microwave grabbing that shield, bumping out the other shield in the top, giving itself a wall and ball. We haven't really seen a very much of a Mason shield together very often. I mean, it does work sometimes. Oh, oh have they won? The Catherine and uh, uh, Captain Falcon going together. Pushing on that, that snail. Captain Falcon sp gives spacing away to Bob Dobelina. Getting the kill off the top there. And Free Microwave taking the oh. kill on the top for Fire Ice Angel. And Hefe 1 taking the kill off the uh, middle here. Boso! Nice clear. Hefe, uh, so, uh, sorry, Catherine going and moving that snail away. At 7 7 cash now, pushing, pushing a little bit over oh. there. Her Boso almost had, uh, had Hefe, but. That clash kill got him. Captain Falcon holding that column spacing. Whoa. Pushing for Catherine. Oh, but Free Microwave catches Fire and Ice Angel in the She in the kinda rack. got stuck because there's maces all around her. Yeah, that uh that meat grinder being a little bit of a thorn in uh, uh Fire and Ice Angel's side, uh with Free Microwave just rising to the occasion as she tries to just loop around it. But here's that split. Let's see if uh if the Death Duty can take a map from uh from them via the berries. Or the snail, to be honest. All right. Looks like uh, Fire Knights Angels are representing center while Hefe defends on the right side. Comes in through the back, hunting Captain Falcon, but Captain Falcon stayed alive and got the bean throw in anyway. Angel doing the same thing on the opposite side. 877, Mace is back. Mm hmm. Looking for that uh, that mace action on the on the hive going and ledging Yuck against and the bombs. working on those berries. Uh, only three out up top. Yeah, the as I predicted here, Death Duty is doing really well with the maces here. Also, I'd like to point out the Fire and Ice Angels staying alive to be able to give their team this advantage. No military pressure coming in. Hefe one going and taking that middle gate and trying to eye Herrick Rosa gets the kill. Uh, Stopping their their moves over here, but uh, Free Microwave is uh, is doing new technologies with the speed and the shield. Looking around for the top there, might be getting that gun. Bottom's done, three out. Let's see if Catherine. Uh, the Robocop is up. All the upgrades with the gun. Here we go, one out. Oh, taken out immediately by Fire and Ice Angel. And then you get the kill off of uh, off of Hefe One, putting Hefe One on last. Is Catherine, Catherine gonna make with it? The last parry. Oh, oh, but it's body block. Eric jumps in and. Oh. 
In such an injury, Captain Falcon takes out Hefe. <laughs> and someone was in the hole with the last berry. Double, uh, double victory, military and bear berries. And uh, Captain Falcon going stealing the glory. At their first win, though, first uh, map win. Indeed, that was as predicted. Split was their map. Uh, Black Queen's Keep has gone to the wannabes, though, so far. Um, we'll see if uh, Fire Nice Angel can win the open, because the opening really is very important on this map. If you can get that clear and get that shield, your team has a huge advantage. Fire Nice Angel looks like she'll probably go in uh, just spacing things out. Actually, just flies up to the top right, stopping uh, their military from getting up instead. But Free Microwave has that... Yeah, uh, working on that eco. The block see block. if... Uh... That may, that uh, snail's going. Yeah, Death Duty has the advantage over here as Far Nice Angel swapped them, uh, herself up here, stopping. Oh, gets the clash off the oh. gun. Yeah, get away from Microwave. He's got that gun. She missed the punish opportunity of the right column, but that's uh, leading her the ability to attack oh. Do Do Bob Dodolina right now. So her patience paid off a little bit. Dodge the gunshot again. Do Bob Dodolina. Uh, getting that snail just a little bit further, but Free Microwave still has not gone down, despite being an alone gunman. Bob Dabalina. Oh, oh, leading. Cash now. Able to get that mace on uh, Fire Nice Angel. Snail still moving. Oh, it's getting there. It, will anyone be able to stop it? Nope. Microwave able to stop the snack with the uh, with the board there. Let's go ahead and like take a look at the uh, just a quick bit of that replay there with the yeah the snack. That gun, that gun pressure was great. The entire team was coordinated and knew what they were doing to be able to finish off that snail. Well played. And Pod, uh, once again, military uh, advantage. Microwave taking out the beans here. Captain Falcon going in and stealing them as well. Did not go and pick extra berries from the hive. Microwave quickly getting that mace. He's been trouble every time he's gotten it. Yep. Oh, Ice Angel finally getting a kill. Yeah, another one. So it's been uh, one since one split. going down a life. She's Fire warming up. Oh! oh. Soon she say something. Pincered in the uh, middle, the, the the tunnel right beneath the right gate. Catherine taken out by Hefei-1. Uh, military Hefei dominance here. Fired. Oh, Hefei getting her again. Barry in Snail's for the blue still team. Moving. Captain Falcon coming in. Oh, D Bob Dabalina with uh, just enough uh, distance to be able to go and cover that kill. Cash now with the uh, speed mace, killing off Catherine, trying to be able to come in for the stop. Fire Angel has to do something right now. Captain Falcon gets it. Oh, oh. Hefe one's on, oh, last. on last. They need to bring that snail back right now. If they can do it, they can. They have a chance of winning this. Catherine bring it back. Blue team's into control. Haraboso gets up on speed, getting a little bit aggressive with the upgrades. Trying to find a way to get into the middle here. Gets in, sacrificing their other warrior's life. But they have Mike an upgrade on now. The chase. My quit's on the chase. Mm, nope. Oh. Eric does not get that kill there. Bob Dabalina. I say Joel. Oh. Really gets all. She and came right under Hefe and he was able to get the dive. That was almost a questionable kill there. Uh, but yeah, that does it. We have wannabes taking it 3 nothing against Death Duty. I am a little bit surprised this ended up being such a uh, such a blowout. Um, yeah, Ice Angel's turning it up towards the end there. Yep. Uh, 14 and 7. Uh, we have 36 and 5 for Hefe 1. Uh, Free Microwave actually got killed a whole bunch that time. 8 and 9. Let's see. What was the bane there? Got killed by... Uh, got killed as a worker uh, five times. Four times up as the military. And I think almost all of it came from Captain Falcon. Yeah, Captain Falcon was... Yeah. Uh, a lot you of got a double on there. there. You got 13 kills, 12 berries. Mm -hmm. Not bad at all. And uh, the farming up on the blue side was actually uh, like a decent amount better with uh, 23 total worker kills coming from the blue side compared to, I think it was nine, uh, the previous set. So they were doing a better job of holding them down. Mr. Bob Dabalina, uh, though... Also putting a lot of uh, berry pressure up for Captain the Falcon, team. though, four queen kills. Yeah. Great job over there. I think that was what really made the difference to be able to put the pressure on. As a matter of fact, I think Captain Falcon was the last kill on the uh, on the split Juniper. And, uh, in fact, actually, Captain yeah. Falcon got all three kills in that uh, in that match. 
But they did have a, a berry in that last hole. Mm -hmm. For having to get that kill, so. Yep, the, when they won, they won hard. They won on two out of three of the, their, their objectives. So let's see, what else so, uh, do we have going on right now? Um, let's see, let's go ahead and take there a look. should be one more match going right now. Um, I don't know if anyone's picked it up. I know they were looking for a caster. I mean, let's see. If I was to look at the League website right now... Uh, let's see... Red, Red Magnus? Or Lord oh. Magnus? Ah, uh, you talk about uh, Butts and Snails? Uh, with, uh... Dr yes. Yes, that's starting up at 7.45. So, let's see, that's in 10 minutes. Oh, 15 minutes late, okay. Yeah, just a little bit. I, uh, he, his stream might be up, though. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, whether or not that uh, is the case. I think he was not home yet. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Let's verify. Red Magnus is... I got nothing. I'm looking for him right now. Let's see, the Red Magnus. Uh, yeah, his stream is actually up. We can we can go ahead and raid that. It is uh, twitch.tv slash the Red Magnus. Oh, okay. Oh wait, my no, bad. Not, it is it is not live. I'll say it, it shows offline. Yeah, it shows offline. So, it, it had something going. But yeah, uh, thanks you all for joining us today. Please join up with the Red Magnus for the next match uh, in about ten minutes. Yep. Thanks everybody. As always, you can uh, catch us in quick play and sometimes in ranked. <laughs> all right, bye everybody.